This video is sponsored by... So this is me breaking the fourth wall. There's no other way to do these. I uh, just woke up in the morning things without it just being very awkward and stayed. So you just gotta be extremely direct about it. I've now woken up and where I'm sleeping, this clearly isn't my bed. I'm actually staying in my mom's house right now because I should be selling my other house, give or take in about one or two weeks. So that's gonna be very ideal. But the cool thing about this temporary location that I'm sleeping at, let's just examine the area. You have a couch, but what do you have behind a couch? An entire dumbbell rack. And what do you have next to the entire dumbbell rack? Here you have your little fly machine. You have the full squat rack, lap pull down the whole nine yards. So this is pretty much the entire gym that was in my basement. Now it's transferred over to my mom's garage. This is where the original gym used to be. You should have a pool table over there. That's the TV for my living room, dumbbells, and yeah. So this is very, very cool. It's almost done. I'm very excited. The last thing is just the mirrors are gonna be put all across this wall and I'm just sleeping right there. So let's start the day. Oh, it's not that green ball. We didn't see that, but we're about to eat just an insane amount of food right now. But before we start, we're just gonna play a quick courtesy game of pool, you know, to sharpen up the senses for all these complicated recipes we're about to embark on and just make some pristine, delicious food. I have claimed stripes as of now, but with the laws of pool, it's still technically an open table and I can get whatever I'm pleasing. So it seems to me there's no stripes readily available, so I'm going to secure the reds. I'm going to put this red ball in this pocket, right? The cue ball is going to be dangling approximately somewhere right here. It's going to bang into these balls. Then I'm either going to get the green off the yellow in there, or I'm going to get the blue in here. So let's see if I just set a bunch of jargon or I'm a pool wizard. Hey, you didn't film that last clip, right? It's still an open table. Take it easy now. They'll be making them balls be fly off the table everywhere. Just control it. Just get calm with it. Focus. Breathe. Play off the 11 into the 12. That is complicated maneuver. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm about to sell this house. They can't have all the floors fucked up. Come on. Something's going to balls are dumpy today. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, chalk it up now. Chalk it. Get that placebo chalk everywhere. We know how much it helps. Efren Reyes. Whoa. How you doing, babe? Take it easy. Yo, we're all friends here. Let's keep it calm, keep it cool. Beautiful. I don't wanna have to beat you on your own channel. All right, we're about to, we're about to pop it. Hippity scop scop. Contact. Now for those of you who don't know, this is probably your first time ever seeing Corey Sheehan on the channel. But fun fact, Corey was actually one of the first people that I've ever, ever lifted with in my entire life starting freshman year in high school. Now before you ask any questions, there will be a podcast with Corey and my other friend Richard Jafarajian where we will unpack said mysteries and explain the secrets of the universe. You got, you got to calm down. You really got to calm down. You gotta take it easy. Did you scratch? It all happened so fast. <laughs> so, uh, that's unfortunate. So, HelloFresh is this company that delivers simple, enjoyable, delicious meals in a green insulated container to your front doorstep every single week. Now, when your insulation packs expire, you could actually use them as archery targets to hone down your hunting skills from when you're going to have to be savaging your own food. But if your membership is still good, you're going to be receiving simple seasonal recipes and pre-measured ingredients. So it's all set up. You just follow a few basic steps and weave together your delicious masterpiece. And in my humble opinion, that's significantly more preferable than just using a pre-packaged microwave meal. So here's a beautiful example of a meal 
there's another one right here. And when you flip the sheet of paper over, you have six basic steps on how to set up that meal. And regardless of what meal you get, should not take any more than 30 minutes to set up. And each meal is now $6.99 per serving. So if you have two pots, two pans, you're golden. And when it comes to your food selection, you have three basic plans to choose from veggie, classic, and family. You could obviously switch that up whenever you want. Everyone's preferences always change. And I personally noticed in the past week of eating these meals, I've saved a substantial amount of time not having to go to the grocery store. So if you guys want to save a bunch of time, if you guys want to get these meals, meals sent to you on a regular basis, then go to HelloFresh.com and at checkout, use the promo code DAVIDLATE80 to receive eight free meals, which is essentially $80 off your first month. This is a whole lot of food right now. We got our macronutrients and micronutrients. This is a very intricate, complicated meal. So now we're going to give it a taste test. Uh, um, my tongue. <laughs> My tongue did make contact, and the seasoning was great. I couldn't really get into the food, um, but I suppose it, it should be pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna put it on my upper chest, my shoulders, my triceps for a great push day today. Um, I'm just gonna have to fight for a back. Yo, how's that taste? This is so good. <laughs> Yo, let me try. Ten out of ten. <laughs> give it to me, give it to me. Ten out of ten. Ah, uh, I highly recommend it. Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh. Well, internal cooling. Now that you've tasted it. My tongue touched it, and I got that uh, trailer for the taste, and how I imagined how good it would be. Filled my expectations in a perfect one to one ratio. What type of pre workout you be taking today? It's called Euphoria. This is a, a sample of my pre workout which we'll be testing out today. I've tested out samples before, but they keep getting revised and revised and revised, and this is very likely to be the last formula, so judging how strong and how much of a pump I have today, there should be some correlation with how effective the pre-workout is. Graham, what are your thoughts on this? I can't contribute, I took pre so I'm just gonna freaking out-pump you all. Oh, all right, well, we'll have a pump, little pump, pump contest. Up. Mr. James, what time is it right now? Fucking too late, that's what it is. It's way too damn late, James. This is a real late workout. I've, as you know, I've been working out real early, but I got preoccupied and busy today. Am I gonna die at the age of 40 because of this, or I'll be fine? No, you're gonna die. Okay. All right, well, it'll be a glorious set. Whoa. You're looking ice. Whoa. Do that again, do that again. Wait, how much weight did you gain in the past two months of restarting training? 26 pounds, Dave. 26 pounds. 26 pounds. I'm jealous. That is a... Bo James, I don't think we formally mentioned on my YouTube channel about your YouTube channel. Now, James, I find it kind of rude that you have over 3,000 subscribers and no videos. You're just going to leave people hanging like that? That's disrespectful. Well, I thought we agreed that you would put the, um, the Q&A up first, but you just didn't do it. Whoa, what Q&A? <laughs> There's no Q&A. There's no Q&A? Okay. But I have a uh, little surprise for yeah. everyone. Um, what's that? Are you James's man? I'm James' are manager. James we're, manager? we're each other's managers. Me and James, we actually, about what, two, three days ago? Yes, sir. We filmed a podcast literally right back there, and it's all edited. It's good to go. It's 35 minutes. Solid first podcast, but the reason I haven't released it yet is I'm not sure if I should put it on my main channel or make a separate channel. I'm just outweighing so many pros and cons, but either way, this weekend, you guys will see it. Yes, and it's very, very good. James, separate channel or one channel? Or this channel? Right now, one channel, then you can break it off into a separate channel if you keep doing it. James, you post it that on sounds channel. reasonable. James, would you say 120s for some sets of six on incline uh, dumbbell press is mo moderately impressive for a lanky fellow such as myself? Very impressive. But James, you know what I think is even more impressive? No. The fact that Mr. Sheehan has gained 26 pounds in the last two months, and he's looking like an iced out rhinoceros right now. The creatine is pretty incredible stuff. Creatine monohydrate, and other forms of creatine, which we touched on that podcast, James. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And food. And food. Food is everything. Corey's has been binging nonstop. Special sensation you get from the awesome pre-workout with the perfect amount of energy and coupled with something that produces enough endorphins in your system that not only do you get a great workout, but you don't even feel the pain. That pretty much sums up my pre-workout uh, pretty nicely. Just put that on the logo and label and slap it out. Just put James' face on the logo. James, I was on Instagram the other day and I got baited with another Instagram ad and I made a purchase. What'd you purchase? I'm wearing it on my feet right now. I want you to step on my toes as hard as you can. Harder. I don't feel it, James. Watch you. 
No, I don't feel anything. Wow. What are Grab they? a 45 pound plate from Ireland and try smashing <laughs> it. What are they? These are some fancy shoes that look semi casual but have an amantium place in the toe. They, that's what they use for Captain America's shield. And you basically, like, you cannot break my toes no matter what. Completely useless in certain contexts, but I thought it was really cool and I needed to purchase it. It was only 60 bucks. Now, James, normally I'd be coming in here and doing my ritual of borrowing a little bit of them nootropics right there, some Pramaracinum, Anaracinum, Oxaracinum, but I won't be needing these today, James. You know why? Because I took my pre-workout and it has it in it. What, Oxaracinum? Oh, yeah. I was going to be hitting a chest day today, and I'm focusing on my bench press recently, my flat one rep max, so counterintuitively, like I said before, to increase that, I'm not flat benching at all. I'm actually just doing incline. I've been doing incline barbell for a while. That's been feeling really great. But the other day, I started doing incline dumbbell to start off with. I was like, wow, I'm pretty strong at this because I was comparing it to how my incline dumbbell mid-workout versus the beginning of the workout, and I kind of fell in love with it. So past few chest workouts, I've been doing incline dumbbell, and I've really been liking it. So that's what we're going to start off with today. They'll probably do some uh, military press, seated, uh, seated barbell overhead press, and... Yeah, just have an intense push day, but I'm really looking forward to this incline dumbbell, so we're gonna see what we can push. And we're gonna start off with pull-ups, just kind of prime and activate the lats, give that extra stability, because that's a secret people don't know about when it comes to pressing movements. The lats are everything, ask Larry Wheels, or better yet, look at Larry Wheels, look at his lats, they're big. So give him a little rundown how that 120 just felt. Um, 120s, gentlemen, usually the hardest thing for most people on incline dumbbell. I noticed they need help getting the first wrap up. For me, for whatever reason, for seated dumbbell press or incline dumbbell press, my first wrap up is usually the easiest. 
so I kind of messed up with the 100s. When I lifted them here, I like started in this position and I had to throw it up where it's normally here, here, and then up. Because that really fatigued me for the first rep. And then my tempo was kind of off. I believe on rep three or four, I kind of, my shoulder like loosened this way. I flared out a bit and I use a lot of energy to recover. But I still got a set of six, which I was in 10 four. So my That's so solid. It's like four sets of five. So today I'm going to see how many sets of six I can get. So hopefully my second set is going to be better than my first if I technically correct myself. So what do we have now? Right now, Corey is about to do a max on bench. He's about to do 185. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How, how many days ago That's was it? it? How many days That's ago it. when you failed it? What, three days ago? You know what I think three it days is? ago, I couldn't I think it's all the calories and sodium. I think it's HelloFresh. HelloFresh. Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. Ouch. That's, that's the first time I couldn't get my own dumbbells up. Being of those reps didn't feel safe, I guess. For my rap excuses, let's start off. Yeah. I'm a little fatigued from all these 120s lately. I'm gonna put on a few clips here of me the other day hitting it for some sets of five, just for some justification, because my ego feels like this is necessary in the moment. But Your shadow's taking over right now? Shadow's taking over. But yeah, guess what 20s are no today? I'm gonna drop down to hundreds.
when it comes down to just summarizing, you know, they say read this and summarize it. Yeah. That was that was difficult for me. Okay. Just I didn't I didn't like putting it down in my own words. There's something fun about having it all private in your head the way you like it. You don't want to put it. You don't want to organize and put it down. It's too I, I don't good know. For paper. <laughs> it's way too good. For it's paper. an invasion of privacy. The school really shoots for the middle. I mean, you're trying to get the most amount of people to pass. So you really need to work on the averages. So the very average people. And then that first standard deviation in both directions is going to benefit the most by the way school systems are set up. So over the years, that's become even more pronounced with the idea that some people don't say test well. Now that's something I've never understood because it means if I ask you a question and you can't answer it, to me that just sounds like you're wrong. But they're going to go, well, maybe there's <laughs> test anxiety. Well, maybe there's some weird interference by the electromagnetic corona of the Earth that prevents them from accessing that information at that given point in time. But he still knows it. He just can't present it to anybody else in the universe. But that's still knowledge. Just somewhat tenuous. James, that sounds like some postmodern neo-Marxist horseshit right there. Right? Yeah, but so what we do, what we do, because we need to make the averages pass and as many of the averages possible pass, is we start making homework part of the grade and attendance part of the grade and all this stuff. So Which all of a sudden count. you're passing, <laughs> even though you can't regurgitate any information you've been given. Hey, participation hey. trophies are still shiny. They die. <laughs> they... I'm there. I'm attentive. I'm paying attention. I'm learning. I'm soaking it all in. I just need to write but then I <laughs> choose not to do the parts that I don't want to because I don't understand how that's beneficial to me in any way. Sounds like a disagreeable young man. Sounds like you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they thought. Okay. Yeah. Which, you know, I, I could have benefited a lot from an ass kicking. The other <laughs> we should have had an ass kicking. Someone okay. should have picked you out and just beat your ass until you did your work. I got a lot of ass beatings from my older brother. <laughs> and you should have gotten more. And they should have started when you were younger. <laughs> when you got a better effect. He pinned me down and made me call myself a bitch. <laughs> Should make you do your work because we should make you do. I'll be honest with you, there's nobody in the universe I've ever met that wouldn't benefit by a couple more ass beatings when they were younger. Okay, I, I had some solid ass beatings when I was younger, yeah, real good, real nice belt, high quality, Dude, burn real out. well. My father back out in California had these hunting belts because you know, so like you gotta imagine a big, thick leather belt with these I mean, what would you call it where you put the shotgun shells in them. I don't know. Uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, you can imagine this huge thing with these big, thick leather things that you can put the shotgun shells in. And I do something, and he pulls that out. I'm like, no, not that. What is with that? Oh my god, no, no. And then he hits me with it, and it turns out the shotgun shell holders were like a cushion. So the first two, I feel nothing. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Ah, it's so terrible! It's Slow, so bad, that's I couldn't feel a thing. It was the funniest thing. I used to think of stupid things like, what, what, what type of padding can I put on my ass? And like, what, what do they know it's there? What kind like, of numbing cream can a, I get off eBay? Like, like a, like a pillowcase. Can I like fold up a pillowcase or like wear an extra pair of underwear? Like, but since then, yeah, I've never been like ground and ground. But I got yelled at. Well, the problem with grounding and punishment is my dad like taking your phone away from you is the, basic, the mistake every parent makes is they do it for too long. Mm -hmm. And you start adapting to it really quick. And you're, mm -hmm. you're just super resilient. You're like, okay, you're going to punish me for more than three days. I'll figure it out. But you know what's interesting? I think for me, in either sixth, seventh, or eighth grade, or maybe even younger than that, probably elementary school, I like fucked up real bad with something. So like I actually properly got punished in a way. They didn't put a label on it, but they just took all my electronics, everything away. And after I got past my bitter, resentful, rebellious phase, after a few days, I kind of just adopted into yeah. the Amish lifestyle and I embraced it, I enjoyed it, my grades got better, my teachers were praising me. I was like, yeah, this is real nice. Then I got all my shit back and I turned into Satan again, <laughs> so I just reversed it. Actually... How you doing today, James? I'm excellent. How about you, David? I'm um doing pretty good. I had a good workout. We set up this nice equipment.